just did an oil change on the Duramax. Getting ready to go get the Humvee in the morning. I'm gonna roll out of here about 7 a.m. and we'll get it. Just picked up the trailer too. Come on over here. Nice trailer, Sunbelt Rentals. Pretty good, 83 bucks for the day. Not too bad. Got about three hours to go until we get there. So fill up. The exit. There we go. There it is. I just got here and I'm about to pick it up. Put it on the trailer. It is rough. I just walked around it real quick, but as soon as I get done with doing what they're doing, I'll get it. This thing is rough. I mean, freaking rough. Don't care about the seats or anything like that. I'm talking about, it's just all around. Rough as hell, but it's funny. It's all good. Ain't nothing but a thing. Okay guys, I got it all strapped up. So, oh my goodness. Check it out. Dude, this thing is rough. This ain't running years, I guarantee it. So, I've got to know. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if this thing's full of water. No way. Let's see, hang on. That's a good sign. All right. She's all loaded up. We'll see you guys at the house. Yeah, yeah. We're making it. We're making it. Slow and slow. Slow and slow. Low and slow.
So this is it. This thing is filthy. Like, definitely the roughest Humvee that I've ever purchased. So right now we're gonna see if there's even transmission fluid in it. What big plus though we do have is it rolled and stopped somewhat. Look at that. Nice and red. Good, it actually looks pretty decent. Um, I have no clue why this doesn't run. No idea. Come right here, you can see the serpentine belt, there's no belt at all. So why there's no belt? And I've noticed on a lot of the government auction sites for the Humvees, when there's spray paint, the pulley's red. It obviously means they've deadlined the vehicle for some reason. So it's up to us to find out. You can just walk around. Here's the hole. This is huge. No word. It's okay. Let's check it too, see what, uh, how much is in here. So there's way too much oil in here. Yeah. It's too much. <laughs> so it's overfilled. So there's problem Uno. But can I look at this stuff? Luckily I've already, I actually already ordered the new new one of these for the washer fluid. So I guess what I'm gonna do now, this generator kind of scares me with this being discolored. Hopefully it didn't catch fire or something. Alright. So we're gonna now let's start cleaning this thing and let's get to it. Let's see what this air filter looks like. That's a good sign. It's a very good sign. <laughs> Holy crap, it's brand new. <laughs> That's good because these are about a hundred bucks. Wow. Check that out. Extremely good sign, other than the cobwebs. <laughs> That's amazing. Alright, we're going to start tearing this thing apart, stripping it down, and cleaning it. Let's get to work. Out. Oh wait, we got to do our thing. Come here. Come here real quick. We're gonna do a football huddle and do Homer on three. Oh yeah. Oh no. Come here. Hurry up. Both y'all. Humvee on three. Humvee on three. Humvee on three. One, One two, two, three. Humvee. Humvee.
Look. So the coolant was done October of 2016. That was the last time I had a coolant flush. They put these things on. So good. Still don't know why it's not running yet. I just want to get it stripped down and pressure wash. Because I like a clean vehicle before I uh, start uh, diving into that. Stuff's awesome.
All right, guys. So it is as clean as it's going to get with a shot back. So actually, I got a lot of the junk out. It's, it's amazing what comes out. And it's amazing how dirty this thing is. So one thing I'm really excited about too is this. This little thing right here, the roof for the soft top actually slides in through here and you move it all the way around. Probably have to put a little uh, grease, not really grease, but like a, I don't know, maybe Vaseline, any kind of lubricant. You dudes know what I'm talking about. So that, you can slide all the way around and then bam, that'll be good to go. And then the top actually, you roll it up, it slides in and it flips backwards and over and it comes back to this side. Okay, so how dirty those things are. Good night. Well, go eat, dude. Get some food, get some fuel. Good. So, anywho, this is it. This is one dirty girl. So, we're about to uh, pressure wash the crap out of this thing. And then, I'm going to go ahead and I'll probably end up getting rid of all the side marker lights and reflectors turn signals the whole nine here in just a little bit so and actually i don't know what this is those have not been in my other humvees but i didn't have one that's new and it says it's for the uh transmission control module so i'm assuming that's what it is but i don't know why i mean it's full drive just like all the other ones i've been I'm just not exactly sure what that is. But I mean, look at this stuff. Just junk. That we'll get to after the pressure washed. The meat and potatoes, yeah. But I mean, all in all, I haven't got down looking at the axles or anything, but I'm, I'm very pleased actually what, what's up with it. I mean, the oil is black and beautiful. No water, it's freaking great. The transmission, the fluid's red outstanding so everything is uh on the up and up right now all the pulleys turn i haven't tried the crank though so that's the only one i haven't tried so yeah let's give this uh dirty girl a bath All right, guys. Yeah, it's still soaked. Actually, it looks better than it does, but it doesn't look half bad. So, in the garage, uh, what I'm gonna do now is see if the dead burn block will turn with the breaker bar. Let's see if this motor's locked up. Let's get to it. All right, guys. So I just crawled under here. Let me show you what's going on. All right. So, would you look at that? Right there, there's the starter. No wires attached to it. And 
there's also what looks to be some uh, some silicone. I mean, that's silicone right there. It's just kind of strange. I don't never seen that on a starter. Sucker's huge. So right here. Hang on, let's see if I can get the light in here. Okay, check this out. I can turn it by hand. Hang on, I need both. Man, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Look at that. Boom. I'm dropping this phone all over the place. So, bingo. Motor's not locked up. It rotates. And wires are dangling for the starter. So, that's where we are. It does have oil. It's nice and black. It's got transmission fluid. It's nice and red. So, could it be just a starter issue? For real? Only a starter? I don't know. We will find out for sure. Okay, whew. It's kind of tight under there. Apologize for all the bouncing around of the camera.